Philly with a map. Then I met a boy named Zach and told him I like the rap. I was trying to hit the map. Tribulations of the floor, and he said. What's going on guys, Deal with Dan here, aka The Other White Meat, coming at you with a little bit of a, a product review. Ooh, yeah, look at look at this shit right here. Look at this thing right here. I don't really ever do these. I don't ever do product reviews for uh, many reasons, you know, because very rarely do I come across products that I am super stoked about. Well, a couple of months ago, a friend of mine asked me if I would be interested in doing a, uh, a product review for one of his helmets. If uh, if you were to send me one, and I said, yeah, sure, totally, I'd be all all about that. I love I love th things, and I like you, and I like your products. So yeah, sure. So he sent me one of these kits already attached to another um, Icon Armada, Armada, however you pronounce it. The the helmet itself can be any helmet you want. Um, there's going to be a lot of questions, I'm sure, and I'll try to answer all of them. But I want to talk about the helm, the, uh, the 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 product. Did I stutter too bad? Talk to you guys about the product for a little bit. Um, the product itself are the blue lights and now they come in a bunch of different colors like red purple green whatever They come in any color you can imagine really and uh, Basically the product itself is the kit that goes on the helmet and the the kit itself is is kind of almost Super glued for lack of a better term um, uh, Onto the helmet itself in whatever design you want and then they send you out the kit and then you just kind of do it yourself the Mohawk is something special in this helmet. Not any, nobody else has this right now. I'm the only one with the, with the cool Mohawk design. Nobody else has that because I'm a real boy. So I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys about the product and about like what it's all about. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward, right? Cool Tron, like glow in the dark helmet. There's a bunch of cool different photos online. Um, he asked me to basically talk about the things I like and the things I don't like about this helmet. Uh, and there's there's a couple of things that I don't like and there's a lot of things that I do like so first of all Let's talk about the things that are awesome about it other than the fact that everything's great about the design It's really neat. It's bright. It shows up great at night I mean, it's the middle of the day, so it's probably not showing up very good But if I were to let's say go into the closet not like I'm not used to being in a closet it, Honestly, the design looks great. It's sharp dude. I, I cannot be more impressed with the mohawk. That's what really sets it off for me is that the mohawk is lit up. And I really have to thank Thomas for doing this for me because he did it for me uh, back when they were first starting out as a company before the Kickstarter dropped, uh, which there is a link to the Kickstarter. I suggest you know you go check it out if you want one of these. Make sure to support them. I mean, like, they, I think they're already on sale now. But the kits themselves are really cool. They're easy to install. Thankfully, he was nice enough to do it for me because I had no idea what I was doing at the time. Overall, really nice guy. Totally worth supporting his company. I, the great thing about it is that it can go on any helmet. It's 100% rechargeable batteries. It's got like a built-in battery. I'll talk about this in a second. The design is much more sleeker now. It's more compact. It doesn't stick out as much. And um, most people put them on the back of their helmet so it's not totally obvious that that's what it is. It comes with a little, a little light on it. It's pretty cool. It's completely, it's got a mount on here so it's detachable so you can charge it. It's water resistant so if you get caught in the rain it's not gonna you know, mess it up at all. The company itself is called Light Mode. The, here's the website right here, it's lightmodehelmets.com. Pretty easy to go, you just click it or if you're too lazy you just click it in the description. You know, go take you right to it. I think easily this is the coolest looking helmet I've seen in a long time. Specifically because of the mohawk that really sets it off for me personally because I'm a bitch Everything else about it is just super sharp and the design I mean he did a great job about matching the lines of the helmet I have to really give it to him the battery life on these things is impeccable I was actually really surprised I left this thing on for two weeks straight forgot to turn it off because you know in the daytime You can't tell that it's on really um, like if you just set it on the table and you walk around and you forget that it's on like you will you wouldn't be able to tell that it's on so I, I left it on for almost for almost two weeks and the batteries are still running strong. I haven't had to recharge it or take out the uh, battery and put in a new one yet. So the battery life is great. There's no problem with the battery life at all. It was really hard for me to kind of keep this helmet under wraps for a long time because I would go out at night and ride with it. And every time I rode with it at night, I got stopped constantly. I even got pulled over once actually. Uh, asked, just asking about the helmet. I guess the cop rides and he thought it was just the coolest helmet ever and he asked where I got it. And I had to be like, oh well, you know, I'm not supposed to tell. But, you know, like I was doing him a favor, but like it's uncanny like how many people, you can't walk five feet without people being like, oh dude, that's so cool, especially if it's at night. I mean, I've had people hanging out of their cars in the middle of the night asking me about my helmet. People that don't even ride, just like, oh my gosh, it's so cool, it's a cool helmet. <laughs> if you are interested in getting one that's like the Mohawk, it's called the Proton S-Kit. If, if you're interested in getting um, the one 
like what I have, like this 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 kit. Um, the the Warhawk is not included. If you want the Warhawk, links for those are in the description. If you want just the Warhawk alone, the Warhawk uh, basically just sticks on with a uh, 3M uh, double-sided tape that it just like peels off and it sticks right on. So if you like my Warhawk, you can always get one and then do it yourself uh, through the Proton S kit. The two things that I didn't like about it have already been solved. The, the biggest concern was the battery pack of how big and ugly that is. I mean, there's Cena's that are smaller than this. Well, the, the new battery pack has already been shaved down. It's much smaller, it's much thinner. It's like a, it's a lot like the SMH10 now, where it's really, really tiny, just two buttons on it. Um, now you do have multiple settings. This one flashes, and then it flashes faster. For legal reasons, I probably wouldn't recommend the flashing, but hey, you know, that's up to you. The other thing I wasn't super crazy about was how you attach these to your helmet. Like I said, you basically super glue it on, and my main concern was that it wasn't going to be strong enough to hold it. It wasn't going to be sturdy enough. It would peel off and break over time. But I've been abusing this helmet for a couple of months now. All the all the original holds are still on. They're nice and tight. They're they're not sloppy. They're not even bad looking. It's you can't even tell that that's how you get it on there. Was this like type of glue almost? And uh, even 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 in the uh, the mohawk, it's still like nice and strong on there because the mohawk's flexible. I don't know if you know that. The mohawks are like a, a flexible, rubbery uh, stuff, and these are still holding nice and strong. And um, so so those are the only two concerns that I had and. Both of those have been addressed, I believe. I don't think there's any reason to be worried about it otherwise. Like I said, it doesn't come with the helmet like a lot of you guys are gonna be wondering. Uh, it, it works for any helmet that you want it to. You just choose the uh, the Proton kit, which is just the lines, or the uh, Electron kit, or however you pronounce it. And it's got these fatter strips, which I think are actually really, really cool. I, I think the fat strips are really cool. If you like it, please check it out. Uh, he's a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. And it's his company and he's doing a really, he's working really hard to make this as cool as possible and, as, and they're really affordable. They're like 60, 70 bucks. They're not expensive at all. I, I thought looking at this is going to be like 120 bucks, something like that. And um, for 60 bucks for a kit like this, not bad at all. You could, you could get your friends matching ones to go on your dicks. I have to really commend him for making such a cool product and I'm excited to see what other stuff he does because if this does well, he can start producing even cooler stuff. Maybe even whole bikes, I don't know. So if you don't really mind the bigger, kind of boxy uh, battery compartment, go ahead and order it now. The new like sleeker battery one drops in the uh, May 2017. So if you don't really mind that much of a, a battery pack, go ahead and order it now. If not, you can always wait, but uh, backers, uh, Go help them out on Kickstarter. Like I said, the kit's really easy to install and it holds up strong. So there's really, really dope. And um, another big concern I saw on my Instagram was people wondering how it looked during the day. And honestly, it looks just like a regular helmet with lines on it. And you can't really tell that there's battery, like electricity all over it. And uh, then you turn it on and you're like, oh, that's cool. But people were really worried that it wasn't gonna look good during the day if you didn't have it turned on and it wasn't at night. And it really, I don't think changes the look of the helmet at all, other than you do have different shapes, but it, it doesn't throw me off in the least. So, so yeah, I totally think this is a solid product. If you uh, if you like it, go check it out. I think it's probably the coolest helmet I've seen in forever, and it works on any helmet. So make your helmet look cool as shit. Yeah. I'm sailing away. I'm singing in the rain. Don't forget. Again, someday, open up that dirty window, it's Saturday!